You're the Kraken. You can see that. You're the Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> Release the Kraken. <laughs> That's a good version. Yeah. All right. What's cracking, Celiacs? It's Kevin here with the G Free Show today, and actually I have a special guest, um, Rob Gilliland. He's been my roommate now for five years. Mm -hmm. um, so, Rob, why don't you just kick it off talking about uh, how we got started as roommates? Well, it all started freshman year in the yeah. dorms. Um, we met there, uh, hit it off really well right away. You know, uh, we had a great end of the dorms. We had a lot of friends who ended up being like right next to each other. So, you know, it was pretty intense right from the beginning. Um, we spent a lot of time, uh, you know, going to parties and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, the usual freshman yeah, year. Yeah, the usual freshman year. We, uh, you know, the usual go to the calf every day. Um, we spent a lot of, a lot of money on, uh, Keystone, which... Oh, God, splitting 30s of keys. I mean... Yeah, that's, oh. that's one thing I miss. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so dorm room life was pretty was, much... You know, by the book, what yeah, you think it was. Definitely. Um, but it w it was really good, so we all decided that we'd all, you know, roommate together yeah. the next year and stuff, and uh, that was another good year. Yeah. We had more <laughs> split in 30s of keys, only it was probably a case or something. Except that that's when we got into like having parties and yeah. you know beer pong and. Oh yeah. You know the kegs. We made a pretty good beer pong team. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. I mean, we had our off nights, but we, <laughs> when we were on, we were on. Who doesn't, though, really? Yeah, exactly. But, uh, no, yeah. So, when we started living together, there was, it started to get to the point where you could start to see, you know, start to recognize that something was up. Yeah, yeah. You know, there was, uh, you started feeling a little bit more sick. Uh, you, you ended up losing, what, 40 pounds? 40 pounds, yeah, 165 40, to yeah. 125. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. You lost 40 pounds, uh, you were very, uh, tired a lot, oh, you know. yeah. Spent Stay, a lot of time in my room, that's for sure. A lot of time resting, you know. Uh, the only time we really saw him was between the, his room and then the bathroom. <laughs> Which was right next to each other, so it was a pretty rare window when you would see me. Yeah, <laughs> or you just hear the door open and then the door close kind of thing. It was, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty nice. Um, but yeah, so... You, you ended up getting sick, um, and then there was that long period where we didn't really know what was up. Right. Um, and um, I guess yeah. then I started getting those, you know, like mini seizures, you know, the, yeah. the celiac seizures, whatever you want to call mm -hmm. them, but... From, from the gluten and stuff? That's pretty much when we knew something had to be done, and... Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, and you, and you pretty much took it into your own hands in mm -hmm. terms of uh, diagnosing and researching and figuring out... Right, and then... In terms um, of symptoms. Right, and then I ended up going to uh, Dr. Thomas Peller up in Eau Claire, and mm -hmm. then that's when he actually gave the the official on it. So yeah, um, so, but yeah, so since diagnosis, <laughs> though, I mean, you've had to make a lot of adjustments. <laughs> I mean, it's, I, I'm, I'm still making adjustments. It's yeah, been, it's been a hell of a transition. It's an ongoing process. It always <laughs> yeah, will be. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, some of the stuff that I've had to change was is uh, a lot of washing your hands. There's a lot of, you can't really touch anything that, <laughs> like, once I touch that piece of bread, I'm, you know, I can't touch any of Kevin's stuff, which, which I suppose is a good thing for you. I well, can't right. just come in and take your things. Well, <laughs> I'm not too worried about that, but throw a cross contaminating thing, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, just the door handle or, well, mm -hmm. what, PS3 controllers, remotes, anything, yeah. I mean. Yeah, just little things that you wouldn't think of that you really got to concentrate on, and uh, a big thing about that is I'm I'm starting to uh, like accuse you of any OCD that I might oh, uh, yeah. develop over the years. Well, well tell them the cookie story because that the one. The cookie story? <laughs> yeah. This was, this was the first time that I have ever had like some sort of an OCD from from this glute from uh, washing my hands. But no uh, I went to a math like talk at on campus and they had uh, cookies and pizza and everything. And uh, we get there, and uh, I have some of the pizza and cookies, and I just sit down, and I'm like, you know, can I go wash my hands? <laughs> I was like, you know, I, I, I'm I so uncomfortable touching, like, my computer or the table. I was thinking I was going to make someone else in the room sick. <laughs> and then when you were just standing there just like this, just... Yeah, I'm like, oh, man, what, like, I really should go wash my hands right now. <laughs> So then finally you started kind of getting that sense of like paranoia that you kind of need to always yeah. keep your hands clean and 
Yeah. 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 Y